The series started because I, I was exploring the feminine and um, putting together all the negative things that I could find that I don't think are negative and are not in themselves negative but are portrayed as negative and linked to femininity. I put them together just to see what would come out. So I took the stereotypes like roses, softness, flowers, witches, glittery gold, friv the frivolity. But it evolved in its own way. It started doing its own things and it became this kind of observing nature, which ties in with uh, environmental concerns that I have. I started mixing in elements from my own background. I grew up in the south of Spain and nature there is very different. It's much more exposed. Here things are more mysterious. There's more mist that blurs the edges of things. There's more darkness and you don't really know what's lurking. There's more vegetation and um, there's more ground for the imagination of other beings. It's because there's a lot of places to hide and uh, the light flickers in ways that you don't really know what you're looking at. Did something just swish past? And what was that something? I think that has a lot to do with the weather and um, how the light plays, how it's so subtle at times. My um, interest in the magical forest probably comes from my background. Both Spain has a strong Celtic influence, especially in the north, which is where my father came from. And uh, in Sweden, there's also a very strong love of nature and a very magical relationship with nature. And, and the country that I live in now, in, in, in the UK, there's also a very strong relationship with the forests, with the magical side of forests. And um, that magic or that energy is what I try to bring through when I paint the animated natures. It's all the energies put together that inhabit a forest. I see them as a portal between worlds. I don't really know which worlds they are being, um, they're connecting. Yeah, Fukuoka was a very inspiring read. His One Straw Revolution book it was very inspiration because it, it put together the respect of nature with my laziness. So <laughs> I don't need to do much <laughs> to... <laughs> to um, have thriving nature around me because it does it better than I. And that was such a poetic discovery for me.